I always t wanted to be a nurse. I, it was just part of me. And, you know, it's amazing what 60 years will do when you look back. Dr. Garfield had a vision for the School of Nursing, which included being able to have nurses that were trained in the science of medicine and trained as physicians were to actualize the permanent way of practicing medicine. The whole atmosphere that was set up by Mr. Kaiser and Dr. Garfield and Mrs. Kaiser also was that this is going to be a place that we are all a family and we are going to produce the very, very best nurses. One of the things that distinguish our school from others is that the Permanente physicians were part of our faculty. We all felt that the Kaiser Foundation School of Nursing gave us the foundation that we needed to be able to step in to our role as a nurse. Being the first nurse practitioner in all of California really didn't surprise me because Kaiser was always a pioneer in everything that they did. And this was in uh, 1968. We were taught to be nurse leaders from the very beginning. And that really prepared me on my leadership trajectory. The environment in the school fostered that. They became nursing administrators, they became educators, psychologists, authors, and they all got their education at Kaiser. I mean, it's incredible. I have real strong feelings about the relationship that exists between the nursing staff and the patients, and I'm talking about the human element. Do you talk to the patient? You put your hand out and you hold the patient's hand. They have to be caring. They have to want to be there. They have to uh, really feel the spirit of taking care of that patient's needs. I think one of the basic skills is to look at humanity of the person, respect for the person, and also listening to the patient. You've just got to maintain your integrity, your sense of being a human being. You can't lose that. I think if you lose that, then you become an automaton. It just doesn't work. The patient always comes first. Your patient is foremost in your job. In spite of all the computers and everything they have now, don't lose the touch with the patients. Follow their feelings. Take care of yourself. Know your capacity. Being able to feed one's soul is so important to be able to continue going on with what one is doing. And you can't give constantly unless you have something coming back in return. I had so much feeding me through my family. Try and maintain your equanimity and just not fall apart. I really think you need a support system. But there are some searing moments. And you don't forget them. The joy of caring for my kids. Knit, do something, going out in the garden. When I think about the School of Nursing, the legacy of the School of Nursing, and I look back over my shoulder, I see it coming full circle. Building upon the foundation that came from the School of Nursing, I am thrilled that the Nurse Scholars Academy is now available to help nurses actualize their educational pursuits. Through this, nurses are going to be prepared to provide the leadership roles that we need as time goes forward. Oh, it's not an eight-hour job. It isn't. Uh, it's all-encompassing. It gives you fulfillment in so many ways, in so many ways. I don't know, was, for me, it was a wonderful 40 years. I have no regrets, none. I loved it. <laughs> I want everybody to love nursing. <laughs> and be sure you're keeping up with what's going on. Just keep on reading, keep on trucking. <laughs> uh, it's a great, it's a great world. I loved it.
Kaiser was a good place to be, really. <laughs> <laughs>